And over to the UK now, where the issue of alleged Russian meddling has also surfaced, particularly during the Brexit referendum. With several inquiries launched, British Prime Minister Theresa May expressed concerns over the issue of Russian intervention. We take very seriously issues of uh, uh, Russian intervention or Russian attempts to intervene in electoral processes or in the democratic processes of any country. Meanwhile, Theresa May's uh, own Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson seemed to be joking around when it came to this issue. While at a Foreign Affairs Committee hearing just yesterday, he was really playing off all sorts of uh, potential proof when it comes to Russia's meddling in the elections here in the UK. Is it your belief that the Russians have played any um, role in British elections and referendums? Uh, I haven't seen uh, any evidence of that. I, I, I don't th think I've got... A, the, Mr McDonald's has written no. So you don't No, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen not a sausage. Yet, as, as far as I know, they, they have played no role. Johnson has so little concern when it comes to this issue that he was taking it far enough to even switch to Russian at that hearing. But also, meanwhile, the British Electoral Commission is conducting an inquiry into Russia's potential involvement. They're separately in dialogue with Facebook and Twitter over this issue. We've also seen a committee, the House of Commons, send a letter to Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg asking him for details on Russian ads around the time of uh, the Brexit referendum. We've also seen a, a Labour MP, Ben Bradshaw, here in the UK call for for an investigation into finding out any potential interference, particularly Russian, when it comes to really all Western democracies. Also, these accusations came from the U.S., but they're connected to Scotland. U.S. senators saying that somehow Russia is, quote, setting up shop in Scotland to interfere there. While all of this hype is flying around, we've obviously seen that proof has been uh, really painfully thin on the ground.